Hey there, welcome to the Dragon Herald. This is Chapter 16, Hostile Intent. Herald, we approach the docks. I would like to have our men rest here for the night. I feel as though they could use some reprieve from the fighting. Yes, of course. I need to rest some as well before continuing. You can't fool these experienced eyes, Harold. You look as though you are brimming with energy. Well, I cannot deny my haste to make up for my three months of idleness. Still, you are right that rest would do us all good. Then we will meet outside in the inn. We will meet outside the inn in the meeting. Wait, what? Uh, we will meet outside the inn in the, in the morning? Probably in the morning. You'll meet outside the inn in the morning. There we go. I will inform the others of our rest. Tomorrow at dawn, we return to Varius. Have you all made your preparations? Yes, sir. I have imbibed a quantity of alcohol to relax, as, tr as is tradition among mercenaries. Smooth, bird. Smooth. How do you not ever get drunk at all? I have honed my liver during my training exercises. <laughs> okay. I am glad you are taking your work seriously, but set some limits. After all, we are humans first and mercenaries second. That means I can go exercise my human need for sleep now, right? Resting well is part of the job. I'll see you in the morning. You are ever the wisest mercenary I have worked under. I'll be sure to report in bright and early. Aw, Lawrence thinks he's going to get used. I have tried to tell him to be more serious about things, but I believe at this point it is a physical impossibility. Given the perilous nature of our work, I'd say that levity is a powerful quality to possess. It's not always easy to sleep well, for various reasons. I suppose from the perspective of combat readiness, that is true. When we arrive in Varius, doubtless be, there, there will be more fighting. Have you prepared yourself? It may be cold of me to say this, but none of us are from Varius. It is true I have spent much of my life here, there under your wing, but my only attachment is to this mercenary company. If that is the case, then there is no more for me to say. You should get some rest, too, and follow Lawrence's example. If you say so, sir. And have a little more, you rogue. When you're old like me, you'll regret not drinking when you could. I can't imagine being that old, if I'm honest. And that's normal for a merc like you, I guess, but just look at Taika. He's old enough to bear children, not that he ever will, mind. Not the sort to take a woman. Back in the old days, he'd be more liable to chop one in half. These days, I guess his subordinates are family enough for him. Shame he missed out back when we were both lookers. Real shame. I'm not quite drunk enough yet to fall for a casual lie like that. Then when were you ever a looker? You mercs are all the same, not a drop of tact in your bones. Trust me, a merchant can't get by without some personal charm. I'll have to take you at your word. Damn right you do. A merchant's word is worth its weight in gold. And so is this liquor I have here, distilled from Fulgan peaches. I have to sip and praise it. And in turn, my skills in acquiring it. Dot 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 exclamation point. I've had many a drink as a pirate, but none like this. It exudes both sweetness and strength at once. A rare sight it is, too. Too many hermits up in the northern country, and not so many brewers as I'd, as I'd like. Now come. Have some more and listen to my tales. A merchant can go pound for pound against a mercenary when it comes to fantastical adventures. Why, in the process of getting this splendid drink, I ended up caught up in a fight involving some rogue shamans. Well, what a fine assortment of Rodell citizenry we have. Alas, I'm the only one here who has forsaken his vows. I have comments on that matter, but we have been told to relax. Besides, though you have taken the long way around, your goals ended up the same as Rodell's. Even so. Come now, don't be so glum. Save that for after we drink and discuss our love lives. If it would make you better, I could pardon you for any desertion you've committed. Wait, I can do that as a noble, can I not? It is a bit of a great area, Lord Gale. As I hear it, the offense occurred in what is now your territory, but you were not in governance at the time. It is a bit of an edge case. I had no idea the captain of Northreach was such a lawman. Knowing one's duties and restrictions is a soldier's responsibility. Well, know that I at least intend to hold fast to the path I chose. You all will be safe within reach of my lance. A fine thing for a knight to say to a captain. Here, here. Now about the life, life, ugh, now about the love life thing. <sighs> Words sometimes. I say, what an unruly congregation we have today. 
think you may mean unusual, dear Samantha. My usual drinking partner is quite unavailable, so here I am. I felt I should be drinking with one of the few other variants around. Eh? Who might that be? It's your friend there with the funny patch, you didn't know? I? A variant? What strange does this man speak, Chris? Though it is true I am one of the faithful, my homeland has ever been glorious Rodell. You can't fool an old warrior like me. There's a lot of little ticks that give you away, especially the heroic act. That sort of delusion is very varian. Now now, Goro. It is, it is unkind to pry into the past of others. I am sure we will have things we would rather not talk about. Well, when you put it that way, I can't disagree. Apologies, miss. No, no, it is fine. I have received such a mistake multiple times. It must be something about the way I carry myself. Pretty interesting that it came from an actual variant this time. Wow, Varius is going to be the furthest I've ever been from home. I, too, have never embarked from these shores. It's a lot more spacious and not spacious at once. The small towns are further apart, but the capital city is titanic. Our holy quest should take us not too far inland, I hope. The Herald mentioned something about the kobolds, did she not? If my education serves me, their holy site is the first Herald's birthplace, far from the capital. That's good. I can't imagine our little group faring well there. The defenses would simply be too much for us to handle. Not much of an adventurous spirit, huh? Though I agree. I'd be pretty sad if I had to fight any of my old brothers in arms. Well, let us think less of the bum things and enjoy our last night in Rodell. Tomorrow, we shall begin a chronicle of heroic deeds that will even rival those of the first Herald. Well, before I commit to any heroics, I should like a decidedly unheroic amount of drink in my system. Now there's some proper talk. Come, I know a good place near the docks. Drinks on the Herald's tab. What a world. Does the Herald even drink, you think? She looks like she'd pass out after a single sip. I don't know, it's always her type that ends up surprisingly hearty. Ah, this ale is just the best. It's a little hard to enjoy it, though, being honest. I feel a lot, a lot like I'm out of my depth recently. Right? I mean, mercenaries are always just along for the ride, but this is one hell of a ride. I wonder if I'll be more popular when we get back home. Huh, I can see it now. Rodell's most famed Pegasus courier, at least the war veteran. Filch, who snatched the keys to victory off the Varian army itself. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I can't actually can't think of a good one for myself. I'm already the alluring Lorelei, so I'm set for titles. Maybe I should go into entertainment after the war. Seems like a fun gig. Definitely not worth it. You should see the men Lorelei has to contend with sometimes. Ugh. I don't think I'll quit my mercenary work either way. I'm good enough at, at it, it that it'd be a waste. I'm definitely ready to hang up the bow myself. Hopefully I can get married after the war. Rowena, that's one of those things you should never say aloud. It's bad luck. Yeah, just after, I'll take up the sword for one final job. Just bad juju all around. Come on, don't be so morbid. Let's drink. A toast to the Herald's deep pockets. I suppose we're the non-drinking group, then. <laughs> I didn't want any anyway. I never understood the appeal. It is unnecessary. And my liver was shot after my mishap, so here we are. You're all from Fulga, right? I am, and the Archsages as well. I, too, am from Fulga. Are all Fulgan so stiff? We might be an exceptional case. Yes, Fulga is like any other country, with merrymakers and festivals. Still, I suppose her people do tend to be a bit more reserved. It must be the high prevalence of arcane research in its risks. Huh? It means a lot of people study magic, so they have to be careful. Magic is powerful, but it can hurt you without proper study. I suppose my manner of speaking needs improvement if I am to help instruct a child. Use fewer and shorter words. Had I fallen so low as to be lectured by a mercenary? Please, have mercy. <laughs> Maybe you guys are kind of fun after all. I was worried about the others living there. You need not worry. Fulgans are kind enough to children. Come to think of it, since we are not drinking, we should sleep. We have a child with us after all, and she's still growing. I do feel kind of sleepy. I can take her back. Thank you, uh, Mute. How are you feeling, Archsage? There is no need to concern yourself with me. All that matters is restoring peace to these lands. Such a thing will be difficult without your guidance, if, my, if I may be so bold. I'm fine. My wound has long since closed. I just need time. 
Well, if you say so. In any case, we should follow Cassie's example. It is ancient wisdom that eight hours of sleep can cure just about anything. I have not acquired such knowledge in my studies, but I suppose I will take your word for it this time. Let us turn in for the night, then. It is almost time. Indeed. We will be returning to the festering roots of this war. Not drinking with the others? Surely you do not imagine me to be the drinking... Surely you do not imagine me to be the drinking sort? I suppose not. Are you here to barb me with malice as usual? I was merely up to make preparations for leaving the country. Sir Brainor, then? He will be my arms in Rondell while I am away. You've made, you've made a fine mess of things as it is, though. I doubt he will have much to do. I hadn't dreamed that my journey would be so, so tumultuous. How do you think I felt? Even worse, I get to relive the feeling twice. Are you afraid to return? Well, I will not be bearing my heart to you quite as easily as that, your righteousness. You may do or do not as you please. I fear for both of us that you may be a little too confident about this. I am glad that is how it seems. You're saying you're not, then? I have taken on the relic of the First Herald and all that entails. Each action I take reflects on the history of the Faith itself. Two of the three Heralds before me have died because of Arius, and the third is, well, you. As you say, I would be a fool if I were, so, if I were grandly confident. Well, I didn't go that far, but I was certainly thinking it. I'm content knowing that you, too, are drowning, drowning in worries. Nothing upsets me more than a head full of air. I am glad my troubles are, are, are of value to someone. However, the Holy Maidens act. You know, even if you succeed, your role as Herald will be over. Do you plan on roaming the world as a monk or something? Helping the peasants till your, till your bones rot? You make that sound as if, as if it were a terrible idea. Well, I cannot deny that there are some who would enjoy that. You, however, are like me. Sour and provocative? <laughs> Just then I'd say you were, but no, what I mean is that you have not had a choice in your life's path. You were groomed since your youth to be this paragon of the faith. If you were to be shackled by this purpose forever, even I would find that somewhat pitiable. No matter the cause, there is nothing wrong with doing what is right. Huh, <laughs> I've wasted my time. I should go see how Mute is doing. Enjoy your moments of peace while it lasts. Dot dot dot. Taiga, I see a great number of Rodell soldiers in port now. Were they sent by the Emperor to join us? I fear that it is not so simple. Look over there. Oh. Lord Conwell, are you sure we should be doing this? On a matter like this, I cannot trust a lone messenger. You have your orders. Prepare to take the Herald. There is no need to spare the rest of them. Lord Conwell, you should know that the messenger bore Emperor Granmore's personal seal. What you are doing now is tantamount to treason. I have heard word that the previous Herald rides with her. The one that was revealed to have killed Lord Zeno. We could have we could have had peace were it not for that assassination. Instead, the decision was made to end things in one final push. And my wife. I understand your sorrow, but do you suspect the current Herald of such treachery? I only know I'd be a fool to so easily trust a Varian again. I implore you, Carmichael, take my position on this. Was not your fellow Brainor seduced by the Varians as well? It is true that he acted as, the, as he did under Shozo's direction. Very well, I will aim to capture the Herald. I'll muster a rear guard while your men penetrate their line. I'll take the skies then. You were too soft, Carmichael. The Herald's past and present must fall here and now, if there is to be any future for Rardell. Rardell's soldiers are drawing arms. We can't afford to fight it out here. Take the ship as quickly as possible, and we'll set off. Okay, let's see what we're looking at here. That was a long, long conversation, but uh, I think it was worthwhile. It's just that... Uh, we have to now worry about a lot of stuff here. Um, Conwell's the boss, and I guess it's the goal to defeat him, so to take the ship. We have this to work through. Uh, okay, two boltings. Cool. This is an interesting line. Uh, two fleets over here. 
that one has an elixir. I don't know what that. I kind of wonder if the fleet is going to use the elixir. That would be interesting. Um, Carmichael is here with the S rank axe. And we start over here, I guess. Okay, we have this village to get. Oh. Okay, she's back from uh, way back from chapter two. Okay, well, this is definitely uh, going to be a map. All right, well, I'll make my preps and I'll be right back. All right, so uh, I've made the preps that I can. I've tried this map a few times just to practice it, get a feel for what's going on in it. And I think I have a pretty good idea what to do now. So I'm going to have Rona shoot this great knight with the Alcade, which uh, pierces through armor, so it makes it the perfect thing to just one-shot great knights and vanguards. I'm going to have um, Shozo move over here. Actually, uh, Taiga can go here first, because we're going to need him to talk to Era here to recruit her. We also want Chris to be um, nearby. Um, I'm thinking we just have Shozo go here, summon a fan, summon a Bonewalker. He gets a level up, consisting of power, speed, luck, defense, resistance. Really good. We're gonna put the Bonewalker here. Put Chris here with lightning. Um, I don't want to send Horus here because the fleets will shoot him out of the sky. And I also kind of need him on this side. So, well, I don't badly need him on the side, but I did give him a silver card to do some shopping at some point. So, yeah. That'll do for now. And on this side, um, I'm going to dance for Shozo now. Get him back over here. And, um, one, two, three, four, five. Right, so I'm gonna put Myron, uh, here. Fire is acceptable. Move Nathan back. Keep deep where he is. Put Hartman here with the Brave Lance. I gave him the Merak to hold in case he S ranks lances. I doubt that he will right now, but we'll see, I guess. Let's see what the enemy does. There's a few issues with this map that I've seen uh, in terms of like what we'll be facing difficulty-wise. They're not issues with the design of the, the map, rather the uh, challenges is a better word. So there's reinforcements that come from the left and right, soldier reinforcements, as well as cavaliers that spawn on the docks. And eventually, uh, that there's a Valkyrie there with both two bolting tomes that will move to get in range. Uh, so those are um, what we're going to be focusing on dealing with. It seems Chris is traveling with a truly unfortunate group. I hope she is faring well out there. Well, more or less, I guess. Um, also... We need three, at least three of our four Rodell units to talk to Carmichael. Our units that are canonically from Rodell. To talk to him, and then he'll go away. So, he moves his full range each turn unless something gets in his way. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could talk to him here, but it might be a little bit challenging because there will be soldiers in the way. So, we might want to talk to him when he's like here ish. But for now, we'll worry about that later. Um, let's just turn on animations uh, for Dietrich just to show them off. Show off his palette. Like so. And he's got the ranger animation, the base ranger animation, as far as I can tell. Just a kind of a brownish, reddish color palette, which looks pretty nice on him. Um, Rona, I want her to clear a path to Era here, so this will work. 
And I may need to kill this other mercenary here. Um, can't quite reach with those guys. But we need to move these guys here anyway. So, let's just do that now. And get Myron over here. Dance. She gets a level up, Florelei. Um, assisting the skill, speed, and luck. It's not bad. And we can cliffs clear this um, person out of the way with fire. Excellent. Now we just have to talk to uh, Arrow with Taiga. We meet again, swordswoman. Fancy that. Funny how things work out in this world. I see you've taken up slightly more honest work. I cannot say it's mattered much. It's brought me to the same place in the end to clash swords with you. Are you challenging me to a rematch, then? I do not know. Would fighting you help make me as strong as you? Experience always fuels growth. But I doubt you would get the results that you seek. Then tell me, how should I hone my blade to be like yours? Walk the path that I walk, and I shall impart all that I can. I can always make room for you and your men in my company. To serve as an apprentice to a blade such as your own would be an irreplaceable experience indeed. I accept. Our blades are yours to command. So, now... Era's on our team, and we got our two mercenaries as green units. Era has pretty reasonable stats, pretty comparable to Taiga. She's a little bit faster, but a little bit less bulky in the defense department. She comes with a light brand and a steel axe, and uh, an A rank in swords and C in axes. So, overall, pretty good, I would say. This Berserker is going to make landing pretty soon, so uh, what I want to do is get Chris to visit this house. Alto, what are you doing here? I had come to see you off, but fighting broke out before I could. You should have come earlier so we could have drunk together. Anyway, we're in a bit of a pickle now, so why don't you help out? You know my, you know my policy about fighting the weak. Right, right, but we'll be going to Various to fight the Cardinals, man. If you come with us, you can test yourself against fighting styles you've never even seen before. That does interest me a little. Do you think my men will be alright without me? Please, most... Seriously. That's my phone. I, I don't know why they're calling. So, uh, Please, most of your clansmen could snap a soldier in half. That was great. That was really professional. Without breaking a sweat. Just tell them you're off to train yourself. I suppose so. Let me grab my axe and I'll meet you out front. Woo! We're finally going on an adventure together. Anyway, we got, uh, we got Era. So, hang on, hang on here. For some reason, the uh, the music uh, goes off after that scene. I, I think it's a, an event thing. But we get Alto. He's got an A rank in, in axes and bows. Very high offensive stats, very low defense and resistance. A tomahawk and a silver bow. And uh, we're going to send Yo this way. It doesn't it can just be like this. And Nathan can go here. As for, as for Alto, um, she takes quite a bit of damage. So I might just have her do this from here. I hope she doesn't get hit twice. Guess that would kill her. Or um, just do this. And then put Era in front here. She's not going to kill anything with the light brand equipped. And uh, we'll just keep Horus where he's at. Okay, the green the green units are better targets because they're um weaker. So here comes Carmichael's group. And uh more soldiers arrive. We're gonna leave those guys behind though and go through this 
this way here. I'm not going to put Myra in there, though, because of this age. Um, in fact, let's just uh, do this. There we go. That guy's done. Um, I'll put Myron here, just to burn you. Got a Silver Lance, which we'll just send back. And um, we can put Era here to take one of the soldiers. Chris can go over here to kill the other soldier, if possible. I think we need to use uh, Fecta for this. No problem. And uh, we can move up to pull this age, but don't want to go in range of the fleets right now or this ballista. So Taiga can go here with a hand axe. That's sufficient. Uh, next, we're going to move up Yo. May as well heal the Merc. This will serve as a bit of a meat shield until... Well, probably the end of next, this turn, the uh, enemy phase, but that's fine. Um, Hartman can go here, I think. Yep. And we can have Shozo go forward, kind of. Summon a Bonewalker. Put Bonewalker here for now. Get Lorelei here to dance for Shozo. Move Shozo here. Uh... Yeah, here is fine. Horus can do some shopping. We're gonna do... Actually... Let's shop here first. That way we'll be closer to the action when we shop at the armory next. Um, we don't have a lot of money to spend on stuff, so let's focus on the important things. Uh, things that we can use more generally going to be better, with one exception. So Thunder will get one. Shine will get one. Flux will get two. Nosferatu will be one. And let's get three of these. One more Mend. That should be fine. We'll go to the armory. We'll park on the armory next. And, uh... Get Dietrich to move back. Get Rona to move over here. And see how the enemy phase plays out. Okay, that's one. Um... So Carmichael's group is moving kind of northwest. I don't know where Carmichael's going to end up, but it's kind of important now. Taiga missed the sage. It's kind of obnoxious. Uh, that's okay. We'll, we'll just start to back everyone up. I wonder if the Herald intends to make this a battle of attrition? If so, she will sorely regret that decision when my siege mages arrive. And that's why we need to hurry up. This episode is starting to run a little long, so I'm going to end the episode here and continue the chapter in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.